This video assumes that you are familiar using DT Search with the indexes created and maintained for our network shares, such as Drive H. If you are not familiar with using DT Search, please review the presentation DT Search Setup and Use and practice with the shared indexes before attempting to create your own indexes. Much of our shared data has been moved from Network Drive H to Google Drive, so searching H with DT Search is less likely to find relevant data. Google Drive Web has searching capability, but it lacks some of the power and features that DT Search has. Users of Google Drive Sync can create an index of their Google Drive desktop data to enable searching it with DT Search. This video focuses on using DT Search to create and maintain a personal index of Google Drive desktop data. Creating a DT Search index involves two steps. First, you define the data to be indexed. Then, you schedule a couple of automatic index updates so that DT Search can maintain the index for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new index for Google Drive Desktop. Before we get into DT Search, uh, to create the index, we need to know where the data is stored that we want to index. So the easiest way to do that is to right click on the, on the Google Drive shortcut and go to Properties, and the target for that shortcut is on Drive C, the Users folder, Tester, I'm Tester, I'm the user that's logged into this computer, and it's the folder Google Drive. So Users, Tester, Google Drive. That Google Drive folder is what we want to index. So if I open this up, there's the data, that whole Google Drive folder is what we'll want DT Search to index. Now, again, this is just a test. This is just a sample of the data that contains a few folders and files. So, let's go ahead and fire off DT Search. We don't have any indexes shown right now. You will normally have indexes, at least a shared index for Drive H showing up here, and probably for other shared network folders as well. And once again, you don't have to do anything to manage or update in any way those shared folders. That's done for you. So we'll close the search dialog, open up the index menu, and choose Create Index give it a descriptive name. We'll just call it Google Drive. And everything is okay. It's going to the logging operation. It's a summary only. That's fine. The location where it's creating the index is fine. Just click OK. Now, um, it has created an empty index for us at this point. So, uh, we'll go ahead and click Yes to this. Index was created in folder. Click Yes. And now, there's nothing in the index at this point because we still haven't told DT Search what it is that we want to index. So we need to add the Google Drive desktop folder. So we'll click Add Folder. And Make sure that you start looking in the right place for this. Go to um, the computer uh, item, open up that, and let me get this opened up correctly. There we go. Uh, the local drive C, users, find your user folder, in this case it's tester, and there is the Google Drive folder. We want to index everything in that Google Drive folder. So select that and click OK. And at this point, um, it's just waiting to start creating the initial index. So we'll click Start Indexing. DT Search is extremely fast in the way it indexes. Now, it's already complete. There were just a few files here, but even for thousands of files, DT Search is extremely fast, and it does run pretty efficiently in the background. So in, 
in in the real world you will have probably thousands of files to initially be indexed and it's going to take a while you can just minimize this uh, while it's doing the index indexing let it run in the background and it does not take up all of the resources of your computer it only takes part of the memory and uh, some of the CPU cycles so you can still work efficiently on other things while DT search is doing the index indexing but eventually it will be done and uh, show this dialog and you can just close it off um, now let's go back to the search dialog and now we have Google Drive showing up as an index and I can search for something like uh, let's say Firehouse it's shown up here oh there are five Firehouse words somewhere in this I'll click search and there's one of the documents in my Google Drive uh, desktop folder that has the word Firehouse in it so so far so good now that index as it is right now has just been created and um, as new documents are added, updated, things get deleted, you don't want to have to think about trying to maintain that index manually, or, you know, on a periodic basis by yourself. You simply won't remember to do that, at least I wouldn't. So DT Search has a nice tool for completely automating the updating of the index. And so that's step two. We have the index created, now we want to schedule automatic updating for the index. So we'll go back to uh, the index menu item, and this time we'll choose index manager. I'm selecting the index that I want to work with, which is Google Drive, that's in blue here. And we will select from this right hand panel, schedule updates. We want to create a new task for updating that index. And the task name that I want to give this, I suggest, first of all, um, creating a, the first scheduled update, call it a rebuild. We will rebuild the Google Drive index. That is going to index all new or modified documents in, in your Google Drive folder, and it's going to clear the index before adding any documents. So, in effect, it's going to wipe out the old index and completely rebuild it from scratch. So, that takes a while. And um, I suggest that you do this um, not every day, not every hour, do it once a week. That's really enough. Um, so we'll click Next once these things have been configured. Click Next and then what we're going to do is actually create the schedule for doing that rebuilding operation. Um, we want to make sure that this box is checked. We want to run only if you are logged on to the computer. Then click the Schedule tab and click new or creating a new schedule for updating this index we want to update on a weekly basis and we'll just do this full rebuild uh, re-indexing on Mondays and let's do it during the lunch hour we'll say 12:30 p.m. you can set that time to be anything that's convenient for you if you know that you usually go to lunch at 1 o'clock schedule it for maybe 110 or something like that just to make sure you're away from your computer. Now again, the indexing will occur just fine even if you're still using the computer, but it does take up resources and your computer will you know, run a little bit slower for things that you might want to get done. So try to schedule that at a convenient time. Once you schedule the day and the start time, it's going to be a weekly job, we'll just click OK and that index has been created so it's going to be rebuilt on Monday at tw every Monday at 1230 now the Google Drive desktop files are going to be changing a lot more often than just weekly so 
really you'd like the index to be updated continuously, but there's no real convenient way to do that. If we update, do a complete rebuild once a week, and then in between times, every, every other day of the week, just update the stuff that's changed. So the second schedule task that we'll create, we'll create one more uh, task. And this time, we'll call this update. This is not a complete rebuild. This is just an update. So for this, we don't want to clear the index. We don't want to wipe out the existing index. We want to leave that. We just want to index any new or modified documents that have come along and check this box to remove deleted documents from the index. So you're not trying to locate documents that have been deleted. The index would remain. The index to those documents would remain, but the document wouldn't be there if it's been deleted, obviously. So have those two things checked. Click Next. And now again, we'll schedule the update. Make sure that Run Only if logged on is checked. We'll set the schedule, create a new schedule on a weekly basis. And again, let's have this operate at 1230 in the afternoon. Now we don't want that to occur on Mondays because that's when our full rebuild occurs. So we'll do this update on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. OK that. And you're done. You can close this off, close this off, and that's all you have to do. From now on, you can just click search, and this index will be there for you, and it will be up to date within the last 24 hours since it's getting updated every day. Um, so I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions or things aren't working right for you with this, um, just let me know. Thank you.